What is up everybody, Scape211 here. And today I am excited because in this video, I am finally going to unlock Zephyr. This is something I've been meaning to do for a while uh, and finally saved up the eight coins, or I'm sorry, the, the credits to do it. Um, fortunately for me, he's one of the guys that requires credits. Now, he is definitely one of those mechs that is absolutely worth unlocking. He's very good. And I think he actually, he, he, he starts off with 16 RG, which is quite good. Um, and I got a couple loadouts I want to try on him. And uh, what's interesting I think about him is with his EMP ability, it goes all around him as opposed to Guardians, which is just in front of him. And I believe once you hit the ability to use your EMP, it already starts the cooldown process, um, which I don't think they used to do, or at least the cooldown process was longer, but they shortened it up and, and I've played against it and it can be pretty, pretty powerful. Um, so here we go. I'm excited. We're going to lock this guy and we're going to play a little bit with him. Um, just kind of a, a random match to see how well it goes. But here we go. Time to unlock him. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. Awesome. Super exciting. I actually have a paint job on him too. Um, I think I have a couple. Yeah, I got a... I got a, a green one. Oh, that looks fun. Do that. Do I have other ones? Secondary one? Oh, I recently got this one. That's funny. He looks like he's uh, on the Green Bay Packers or something like that. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so we're going to put him... Oh, uh, we're good. Uh, we're going to put him in our bay for sure. I want to use this guy. Did I not save any of my... Uh... Did I not apply those? Oops, not that one that apply oh I have to do them separately it applied the green or applied the, the amber but not the green all right so for this to start I'm gonna try doing um, a carbine loadout because if it reloads fast like I'm thinking and uh, has quite the range that it does I feel like he'll he'll be able to use his ability pretty quickly and I'll be in be able to chip away a lot of damage on opponents um, as opposed to like on Guardian, like uh, he he can use his ability up close, but I think Zephyr is going to get a little more benefit as just being able to get in the enemy's face and just keep shooting. And um, the range on the Carbine, um, I think it's 60 meters or less is where it's like the damage on it uh, is heightened. Um, and I, I think that might be the range of his ability, 60 meters, but I could be wrong. All right, but we'll start with Kill Shot. Three, two, one, go. As per the usual, just to cap a point or two, and then we'll move on to Holding Zephyr and see how that goes. Back. What do we got here? There's definitely a guy over here. It's a shadow. Rocket. quick enough? Probably not. He's probably going to get here right as I'm taking it. Yep. <laughs> I called it. That's usually what happens for me in these situations. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm kind of just using him to get in the enemy's face, and then of course once I can get uh, Zephyr out, that'll be more meaningful. Man. Is that bad aim, or is this a person. I'm quite surprised that the computer didn't just destroy me being up that close. It just... I don't know. You know, one of the times I want a kill shot not to live too long. <laughs> he actually does well and he lives longer. Of course he's going to shoot after me. Oh, or try to shoot me. Good. Okay. We got the guy and time to move on to Zephyr. There we go. Of course we're going to get the kill there. Let's see if this reaches. Nope. I'm also at a higher elevation, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. But hey. Yeah, that that reloads really quickly. Mac eliminated. I better move back. This person knows. 
that's a bad idea to get that close to him. All right, so I'm gonna let this guy creep up on me a little. This one even looks like it's another Zephyr. There we go. I know it'll work within 30 meters, I just don't know if it should work even further away than that. Now, he's not using his ability. I don't exactly know why. Does it reach that far? Nope, oh, just barely not. So maybe it's exactly 40 meters? Oh my gosh, another one. It's crazy, now that I have Zephyr, everyone's pulling out their Zephyr. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this up. Clear this guy out. Oops. Oh, I thought that would kill him. I guess not. Come on, I dare ya. Revenge. Go ahead and peek your head out. All right. Uh, you have two minutes remaining. Let's just finish out the rest of this match. Interesting testing with. Uh, And he's being smart. He's actually going the other direction, away from my uh, my shield. Come on, the button. Does not want to fire like I'm telling it to. At times. Does he neutral it? No, not quite. Okay. Activated. All right. Looks like there's only one enemy. Oh, maybe two. I thought there was a guy over this way. Is there? Yep. Whoops. I mean to use both. You have one. There we go. As a first use of Zephyr, that was not horrible. It was not great, clearly. I got better usage out of my other mechs, but um, that was a learning process, I guess, for me to learn what his radius is. I'm definitely going to be playing with him more because I'm hoping to do him, uh, you know, eventually in the Is It Good series. Uh, spoiler alert, I think he's definitely worth it, especially since he's worth credits and not acoins. But uh, we'll definitely talk about what's good about him, why he's good, and all that stuff when we get to him. But just wanted to show a little preview of it because I was excited to unlock him and wanted to do it with all of you. But um, yeah, if any of you have loadouts of stuff that you use for Zephyr, if you have, have him unlocked, feel free to let me know what you do and how you use him. Uh, I definitely want to experiment with different loadouts and stuff like that. So got any ideas, feel free to share them. And we'll see you out there on the battlefield.